it shall be so. Every proclamation shall be so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For every word of God declared on this platform for Nigeria and other African countries shall be yes and amen in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One more time, let's lift up our voices unto God and begin to appreciate God for this platform for giving us the privilege to intercede for nations, African nations, Europe, United Kingdom, United States of America, all the nations over the planet Earth. I want us to thank God for giving us such a wonderful platform, RTOD, where we are encouraged to intercede and pray for nations. And we bless the name of the Lord because the Bible say he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. And so we serve a God that answered prayer. Let's lift up our voices and say, Lord, we are grateful. We serve and trust a God that answered prayer. Our trust is in God alone who is able to give us answers to our prayer. And so Lord, we thank you, we bless your name because you are a God of righteousness. You are a God that never denies us of the rightful prayers. Thank you because you will always give us answers. Thank you because it has been declared in your word that you have not called us to seek you in vain. The Bible says, blessed be the, God, the Lord our God who has not torn away our prayers. Father, we thank you, we bless your name for upon this platform, you will not turn away our prayers. We give you all the glory adoration for the privilege to come into your throne of grace. Thank you for the blood sacrifice that has given us access into the throne of grace. Father, we are here one more time to obtain mercy on behalf of nations, oh Lord. Lord, let your mercy flow onto nations. We are using Nigeria in West Africa, in Africa continent as a point of contact and to all other African nations that your mercy will speak over Nigeria and all other African nations. We thank you, we bless your name. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you honor and adoration. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you one more time, Apostle Victor. Thank you for that section. And we bless God Almighty for the wisdom of God in your life and for the strength to pray. And God Almighty will reward all our labor in his vineyard in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will continue where Apostle stops. Tonight, we're still praying for Nigeria. And we're using Nigeria as a point of contact to all other African nations. Tonight, we're going to stand in gap and pray for Nigeria. We all know what is happening right now. Nigeria is preparing for another round of election coming up 2023. Hallelujah. And there are a lot of things that are going on, activities, both positive and negative, but only the positive ones will stand in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight, one more time, we're going to intercede for Nigeria, more especially concerning the upcoming elections. And we're going to decree the mandate and the purpose of God to stand over the great nation of Nigeria. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord that speak in righteousness will, will speak mercy and righteousness over the nation of Nigeria in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's lift up our hearts unto the Lord again and begin to thank God for the nation of Nigeria. Nigeria indeed is a great, great country and there is no controversy about that. And that's why the enemy is really, really waging war against the mandate of God 
God over the nation of Nigeria. But whatever be the effort of the enemy, it shall not stand and it will not come to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to lift up our voices unto the Lord and begin to appreciate God for that great nation called Nigeria. Nigeria is blessed with great men. Nigeria is blessed with righteous citizens. Nigeria is blessed with priests. Nigeria is blessed with great children. Nigeria is blessed with good human, uh, natural resources. Nigeria is blessed on all sides. And the shout of the King of Glory is in Nigeria. And that's why I know that it does not matter how hard the enemy tries, they will not succeed over Nigeria. Let's lift up our voices and begin to appreciate God over the nation of Nigeria and begin to say, Lord, we are grateful. Over the great nation of Nigeria, we are grateful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We can only thank him. We can thank him. Lord, we are grateful. Even with all that is happening in Nigeria, we are grateful. We are grateful. You are still in charge. The Bible makes us to know that you are the governor among nations, including the nation of Nigeria. And so we are, we are grateful to God that God is still the governor over the nation of Nigeria. Father, we are grateful for the great nation call Nigeria. We join the 24 elders tonight to lift up our hearts and our voices unto God and say, blessed be your name, O Lord, over the nation of Nigeria. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Receive glory, receive honor, receive adoration over your great country, over your great mandate, over every great things that is embedded in Nigeria. We are grateful. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful over the families in Nigeria, over the fathers, the mothers, the children, the leaders. We are grateful. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Say thank you. you are the God that knows the hand of a thing, you know the hand of a thing even from the beginning. You are the God that sees into darkness. You are the God of all impossibility. There is nothing that is impossible with you. You are the God of they are the God of light. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Over the nation of Nigeria, we are grateful. We return tonight to say, blessed be your name. We appreciate you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. For the past political leaders, we say thank you. For the present political leaders, we say thank you. For the incoming political leaders, we say thank you. For the nation of Nigeria, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. Strong nation is Nigeria. Great nation is Nigeria. Nigeria is full, is full of great people. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful for talents in Nigeria. Oh, for those that you have endowed with talents in Nigeria, we bless your name, oh Lord. For all the children in Nigeria, we are grateful. For every good thing in that nation, we are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Over your mandates concerning the great nation of Nigeria, we are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You are still in charge. You remain the governor among the nations, including Nigeria, and we are grateful. Thank you, Father. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Priests. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. And that's what we are trusting God for Nigeria. Hallelujah. That the government of Nigeria is on the shoulder of our Lord Jesus. Christ. The government of Nigeria is on the shoulder of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we join our faith with the faith of everyone in Nigeria, everyone connected to Nigeria, praying for Nigeria 24-7, and every proclamation shall be yes and amen. And so we are giving God an advanced thanksgiving that God will bring to pass every of his promises, every of his word. There is a word of God for Nigeria. It will come to pass. Nigeria will be 
be a, a nation that other nations will be so attracted to in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the government of, Ni of Nigeria is upon the shoulder of the Lord Jesus Christ, it shall be so in the mighty name of Jesus. And so Lord, we are grateful. We are not, we are not hopeless. We are not hopeless. We have a short hope in Christ Jesus. Christ in us is the hope of glory. There is hope of glory again in the country of Nigeria. And so we thank you, almighty God, that it does not matter how bad it looks like now. God, you are still in charge. And once you are in charge, you can turn things around. You are the God that makes impossibility to be possible. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Even those things that disqualify Nigeria to be great, you will know, Lord, because when you step in, you turn things around for our good. You are turning things around for Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declared. Amen and amen. Amen. I want us to pray for those intercessors, those watchmen that God has raised in past years for Nigeria, and those watchmen that are currently currently on the guard, praying for Nigeria right now. They are, they are both in Nigeria, living in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. We're going to thank God for their lives. We're going to bless God for their lives. There are watchmen, there are watchwomen that God has been, that God are, God has been using them tremendously for the for past years. And God has raised a set of new watchmen concerning the nation of Nigeria. We're going to thank God for their life. There are some people that they are praying 24-7. And that's why Nigeria is still together, because God answers our prayer. We're going to we are going to bless God for their lives and say, Lord, on behalf of those watchmen, those intercessors that you have raised over the past years, those ones that you are using now, those ones that you will still use, we say thank you for their lives. Thank you, almighty God. Thank you for strength. Thank you for vitality. Thank you, Lord God of heaven and earth. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the grace and the passion to stand in God as watchmen and pray for Nigeria until they see that Nigeria has turned to a praise nation. Father, we thank you. We bless your name for their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have said thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So tonight, like I said, we're going to pray concerning Nigeria, most especially the upcoming elections. Hallelujah. And we're going to ask God to overthrow whatever will not allow a peaceful election in Nigeria, whatever will not allow the mandate of God for 2023 in Nigeria to come to pass. We're going to ask God to overthrow it in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm starting with the book of Psalm 140. Psalm 140. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Psalm 140. I'm reading from verse 1 to verse 4. It says, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Hallelujah. Preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. <laughs> they have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Hadas poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man. Those who have proposed to overthrow my goings, hallelujah. Tonight, we're going to use this scripture to pray for Nigeria. There are so many attempts to overthrow Nigeria. There are so many attempts to overthrow the peace in Nigeria. There are so many attempts in the hearts of wicked men just to see that Nigeria is no longer existing. Ah, Tonight, we're going to cry unto God for total deliverance. Jesus is the only one that can deliver. And one of his mission to the planet, had, Jesus' mission statement was declared in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 8b. He said, for this reason was the Son of God made manifest to destroy the works of darkness. Tonight, we're going to cry unto God. Lord, you would deliver Nigeria from every evil man. Every evil man, every form of evil. Lord, tonight 
we raise lamentation by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We come to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and to speak the word of God over the nation of Nigeria. We declare every attempt to overthrow Nigeria, let it not stand. Deliver Nigeria from all evil men, those that have purpose in their heart to overthrow the nation, the great nation of Nigeria. Lord, tonight arise as a mighty man, a mighty man of war and fight for Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Deliver Nigeria from all evil men. Deliver Nigeria from evil tidings. Deliver Nigeria from evil agenda in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver Nigeria from every evil agenda in the name of Jesus. Preserve the destiny and your mandate over Nigeria Preserve Nigeria from violent men. Those who imagine mischiefs in their heart. That's what the Bible says. There are men that imagine mischief in their heart. There are men that are proposed to overthrow Nigeria. Father, tonight we cry unto you. You are the great deliverer. You are the only one that can deliver Nigeria. Deliver Nigeria from all evil tidings. Deliver Nigeria from all evil plans. Deliver Nigeria from all evil purpose. Deliver Nigeria from all evil agenda. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, deliver Nigeria from every violent man. Those that imagine mischief in their wicked hearts. Father, we cry unto you tonight. We stand upon the strength of your word and we bring your word to you tonight. We cry, O oh Lord, that you will preserve Nigeria from the violent men. Preserve Nigeria from those that imagine mischief in their wicked hearts. Preserve Nigeria, O oh Lord. Deliver Nigeria, O oh Lord, from every evil agenda, from every evil agenda, from every agenda of wickedness. My Lord and my Savior, preserve Nigeria, preserve Nigeria, Preserve Nigeria. Those that imagine mischief in their heart, they are many. We might not see them, but God, you see the heart of every man. Those that speak good in their, with their mouth, but inside of them is wickedness. Their thought is full of wickedness against Nigeria. Ah, not tonight. Deliver Nigeria from this violent men. Deliver Nigeria from this violent men. Those that have eaten wicked agenda for Nigeria. Lord, you are a great deliverer. You are a great deliverer. Lord, deliver Nigeria from every evil agenda in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said they continue, continually are they gathered together for war. There are people that up until now, as we are praying, all what they gather to do is to foment war, is to bring confusion and chaos to Nigeria. Father, tonight arise as a mighty man of war. Go forth and begin to scatter them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Preserve Nigeria from their violent acts, from their violent plans, from their violent actions. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all those that imagine mischief, those that continually gather together for war against Nigeria, Father, deliver Nigeria from their wicked hands. Deliver Nigeria from their wicked hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, preserve Nigeria from these violent men. In the name of Jesus Christ, preserve Nigeria from these violent men. In the name of Jesus, keep Nigeria, O oh Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Take Nigeria away from the hands of the wicked. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Keep Nigeria from the hands of the wicked. Keep Nigeria, oh Lord, from the hands of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Nigeria might be a lawful, lawful captive, but the Bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Deliver Nigeria, Lord, by your mercy. By your mercy. By your mercy. You died, oh Lord Jesus. You died, you died to, 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 to redeem nations 
unto our Father, unto our God. Father, tonight we call upon the blood sacrifice. We lay hold on the blood sacrifice tonight. And we ask, so oh Lord, by the reason of the, of, the, of the price that you paid on the cross of Calvary to redeem nations, you redeem nations unto God. Father, remember the blood that was shed. Let that blood begin to speak for Nigeria. Preserve Nigeria from all form of wickedness. Preserve Nigeria from those who have proposed to overthrow the goings of Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every attempt to overthrow Nigeria, let it not stand. Let it not stand. Let it not come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, Verse four. I'm still reading Psalm one hundred four, Psalm one forty. I mean, I'm on. I mean, verse four. Now it says, "Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men, man." who have proposed to overthrow my goings. There are some people that they have proposed in their hearts to overthrow the nation of Nigeria. My Lord and my Savior, preserve Nigeria from such people. Preserve Nigeria from such organization, from such conspiracy. Those that have proposed to overthrow the, the Nigeria, Lord, preserve Nigeria. Every attempt to overthrow Nigeria, we declare it shall not stand in the name of Jesus. Every attempt to set Nigeria on fire in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall not stand. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, in your mercy, preserve Nigeria from the hands of those that have proposed to overthrow Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every of their wicked attempts to set Nigeria on fire, ah, it shall not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in your power, Lord, in your power, defeat every attempt of men, every attempt of powers, rulers of darkness, every attempt of wickedness of the wicked, that is every attempt of, of of, 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 of wickedness in high places, that their mission is to overthrow and set Nigeria on fire. Let that their attempt be defeated. Let the wicked attempts of the enemies over the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be defeated. Let it be defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. The attempts of wickedness in the wickedness of men, wickedness of powers, rulers in, 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 in wicked places to overthrow Nigeria in violence, to overthrow Nigeria in wickedness. Let their attempt not stand. Let it not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. The wickedness that is the heart desire of some violent men, of some group of people out either inside Nigeria or outside Nigeria to overthrow that nation. Lord, let it not come to pass. Let it not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it not stand. Every counsel of men, every counsel of wickedness to overthrow the nation of Nigeria, to bring Nigeria into a state of chaos and confusion. Father, we plead for your mercy. It shall not stand. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over the nation of Nigeria, the blood that speaks better things. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ, it speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We declare that that blood of Jesus will speak mercy, will speak comfort, will speak peace, over the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan to overthrow the peace of Nigeria will not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We plead that blood of Jesus over the nation of Nigeria. The blood speaks mercy over Nigeria. The blood speaks mercy over Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus. We declare the blood of Jesus subdue every blood of goats and bulls, whatever they are using to go on their evil altar against Nigeria. We raise the standard of the blood of Jesus Christ against it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every attempt to overthrow Nigeria in depth, 
ah, that attempt will not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you will overthrow the wickedness of the wicked in Nigeria. You will overthrow the wicked devices against Nigeria. You will overthrow their wicked counsel against Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus. Their mischief will be overthrown in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that have wickedness in their heart against Nigeria, their mischief will be overthrown in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not be able to overthrow the nation of Nigeria in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declare, amen and amen, amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. We are still praying. We are going to pray for the upcoming elections, like I've said, and I'm using, I'm, I, 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 I am standing on this word of God found in Numbers chapter 23. Tonight we're going to declare, hallelujah. We're going to declare, uh, 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 let me start by saying this, hallelujah. The error of Nigeria, the error Nigeria made eight years ago in 2015 in the choice of leadership. I pray that error will not be repeated again in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The choice of the wicked sitting on the throne of government in Nigeria will no longer stand in the name of Jesus. 2015, Nigeria made a great error. Nigeria made a great error. And I pray that that the error will no longer repeat itself in this upcoming election in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible speaking in Proverbs 29 verse two, it says, when the righteous are in authority, people rejoice. When the righteous, when they are in authority, people flourish, people rejoice. But when the wicked men rules the people, people mourn, they groan. And that is what is happening in Nigeria. People are groaning. People are mourning. People are groaning. There is a lot of hardship in Nigeria. Ah, because, because we choose wrongly. Tonight, we are going to cry unto God. We want the authority that is ordained by God to rule Nigeria. Let me say it again. We want the authority that is ordained by God and God alone to rule over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. The error that Nigeria made in year 2015, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that error will not repeat itself forever in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I I pray that Nigeria will experience a new order of settlement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will not choose in error. We will not choose in error in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm standing on the scripture tonight in the book of Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23. Whatever be the, whatever, whatever veil that any man or group of people may want to use to cover the face of Nigeria in order for them to, to vote, to vote in error that veil shall be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enchantment, every divination that is being gathered together to cover the eyes of Nigerians in order for them to choose wrongly again. Ah, tonight we set it on fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Numbers chapter 23, Numbers chapter 23 from verse 19. It says, God is not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. Numbers 23, verse 19. Thank you, Jesus. God is not, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said it, shall he not do it? Oh, as he spoken, shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it. He has not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God, is, is God is with him and the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, he has as it were, the strength of an unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob of Israel, what has God wrought? Tonight, we are, going to, we are going to pray for Nigeria. 
and we're going to stand upon that word in verse 20, verse 23. It says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. Hallelujah. We are going to pray unto God and we're going to rebook every activities of enchantment, every activities of divination, whatever may want to whatever may want to compel the people to vote in error, especially for the upcoming election 2023, whatever be the forces that may want to compel the citizens of Nigeria to vote in error against the purpose of God for that nation. Tonight we will declare it shall not stand. It will not stand in the name of Jesus. This is a story we are familiar with. God rebooked Balak and God made Balak to know that he's a God, is the is a God, not a man. Hallelujah. Is a God that does not lie. Is a God that does not change his mind. Is a God that performs his word. Is a God that has all strength. And there is nothing. God is not like man. Hallelujah. God knows everything. God knows the intent of men. Hallelujah. So God is speaking, rebook Balak. Balak wanted to curse uh, the people of Israel because somebody engaged him in work of wickedness. Whosoever, whosoever that have engaged work of wickedness against the citizen of Nigeria in order to cover their eyes, not to vote right in this upcoming election. Tonight, God will set their wicked altar on fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination. So tonight, whatever be the, uh, whatever be the forces of darkness that any man or woman may want to use against Nigerians, in order for them not to vote aright, tonight we raise a standard against it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we raise a standard against it. We will declare it shall not stand, neither will it come to pass. It will not stand, neither will it come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it will not stand, neither will it come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm reading Message Bible. I quickly want to read Message Bible. It says, no magic spells can bind Jacob. No incantations can hold back Israel. No magic spell can bind Jacob. And I want to tell you, because this is election period in Nigeria, there are a lot of magic spells that is flying about. It will be minus, minus the righteous citizen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so there are divinations and enchantment and magic spell that is going on in Nigeria. But this time around, it will not work. Whatever magic spell that may want to compel Nigerians to vote in error, this time around, we say no to it. It shall not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus. So I want you to join me in to pray and declare that every divination and enchantment against the nation of Nigeria in the, for the upcoming election will not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No enchantment, no divination will stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Enchantment and divination that may affect the reasoning of men, that may affect their choice of leadership. Tonight, we declare it shall not stand. It will not stand. Whatever enchantment, whatever magic spell that may want to have a negative effect against the choices and the decisions of who will lead or who will be in authority, 2023, we declare it shall not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the righteous citizen of Nigeria that the Lord will give them a, a, a sound mind. God will give them a sound mind in the name of Jesus, not a mind that will be subjected to, to incantations, not a mind that will be subjected to confusion, not a mind that will be subjected to error, not a mind that will be subjected to manipulations and lies. 
Jesus, tonight we are crying unto God. Lord, we pray for every righteous citizen in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Those that are eligible, those that can vote, that Lord, you will give them a sound mind in the name of Jesus Christ. They will choose our right. They will choose our right in the name of Jesus. A sound, a sound mind that will affect their, their choices that will affect their decisions, that they will not vote in error, they will not choose in error, they will not choose uh, 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 vote under manipulations and lies. Father, you will grant every righteous citizen in Nigeria a sound mind, a sound mind, a mind of Christ, a mind that will do the right thing, a mind that will not sell their conscience in the name of Jesus. And so therefore every enchantment, every magic spell, every incantation, against the mindset of men in Nigeria, we declare it shall not stand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it shall not stand. It shall not stand. It shall not stand. We pray for inner strength for the righteous citizen in Nigeria. We pray for inner strength. We pray for a sound mind, a mind of Christ, a mind that does the right thing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that no one, no, no righteous citizen this time around will vote in error. The mistake that was made in 2015, in the in, in, in last 2015 election will not happen again forever. It will not happen again forever in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the choice of the wicked sitting on the throne of leadership in Nigeria will not stand again in the name of Jesus. The people will choose a right. Ah, the people will choose a right. Give the people a mind, a mind, a mind of Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a mind of Christ in the name of Jesus, a mind where they will be able to reason well in the name of Jesus. They will not come under manipulations and lies of politicians in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment in their choices, no enchantment in their decision, no enchantment in, the, in their choices of election in the name of, G of voting. They will, not choose, they will not vote the wrong people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, no divination will stand. No enchantment will stand in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no enchantment will stand. No divination will stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be the manipulations that the enemies of Nigeria may want to gather together and present it as the truth, it will not stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you will expose and disgrace them. Every, politi every, every politician that is a, that is a manipulation Later, Lord, you will expose them and disgrace them in the name of Jesus Christ. Nigerians, Nigerians, the righteous citizen, you will no longer sell your birthright in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will reason well. Your an average Nigerian will reason well in the name of Jesus. They will think well. They will vote well. They will choose well. They will make the right decisions in the name of Jesus. The error of voting wicked people it will no longer be repeated in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, no enchantment will work. No enchantment will work against the citizen of Nigeria. No divination will work against the citizen of Nigeria. They will do things right. They will do things according to the mind of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No confusion. No confusion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is still the governor among the nation, including Nigeria. Ah, the mandate of God shall stand over the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord. The Lord will deliver Nigerians from the attack of these wicked men that compel them to do the wrong thing. They will not vote wrongly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are still praying. We are still praying because there are a lot of things that is going on in Nigeria. And we know what our politicians are up to. But this time around, God will deliver Nigerians from their hands. Enough of this slavery. No more. No more confusion. The Lord will expose every bad leader. Whosoever has an evil intention, their evil intention is just to come and sit at the position of leadership and embezzle money, not taking care of the citizen of Nigeria. God, whosoever, whosoever they may be, God will expose them and disgrace them. And we are praying. They are, they are enchantment and divination 
will no longer stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will no longer work against Nigerians. It will no longer work against Nigerians. In the name of Jesus, you know, Nigerians, especially believers, when we rise up to say no, it shall be no. When we rise up to say yes, it shall be yes. Tonight we rise up and we say no to every enchantment and divination. Whatever may want Nigerians to vote in error, again, we say no to it. It shall not stand. It will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria one will experience a new era of settlement. Settlement according to the purpose, the mandate, the plan of God for Nigeria, not the plan of men. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, mercy of God will defend Nigeria this time around. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want us to pray for every righteous citizen that is meant to vote, that they will not vote against, the, 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 against their stand in God. They will not vote against their, the purpose of God over Nigeria, every righteous citizen that is meant to vote in the upcoming election, they will not sell their birthright. They will not vote against the purpose of God in Nigeria. There is a purpose of God in Nigeria. We are praying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the body of Christ, let's use the body of Christ as a point of contact, that the body of Christ will not work against the purpose of God for Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus, that the body of Christ will stand with God. They will stand with God. They will stand with the mandate of God for Nigeria. They will stand with the mandate of God for the purpose of Nigeria in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying, we are praying unto God. No enchantment will work. No enchantment will work. Let God destroy every form of enchantment against the nation of Nigeria. And whatever be the enchantment that any, any man or group of people may want to use against the nation of Nigeria, for them to vote in error, it will not happen again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think I still have time. Hallelujah. I think I still have time. Amen. Praise God. Ah, uh, I think I still have time. We're still praying. We're going to pray again to God. We're going to pray that Jesus shall be the Lord over the nation of Nigeria. Hallelujah. We're going to declare that Nigeria will be blessed. Nigeria will be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're going to declare blessing upon the soul of Nigeria. Look at that scripture in the book of Numbers 23. I'm going back to that scripture in the book of Numbers 23. Numbers 23 from verse 19. Praise the Lord. Numbers 23 from verse 19. It says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said, he shall he not do it. As he spoken, shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. He has blessed and cannot reverse, reverse it. The shout of the king is in Nigeria. We're going to declare that the soul of Nigeria is blessed in the name of Jesus. Enough of negative words, negative proclamations, over the nation of Nigeria. From tonight, we'll be speaking the blessings of God over Nigeria. And we're going to declare that the heart of Nigeria is full of God's glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that Nigeria is a great nation. We declare Nigeria is a blessed nation. We declare Nigeria is a blessed country. The righteous citizens are blessed. Everything in Nigeria is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let's begin to decree. Nigeria will declare you are blessed. Nigeria will declare the purpose of God shall come to pass in Nigeria. Nigeria will declare you are at peace. We declare the perfect peace of God to rule and reign in Nigeria. We declare that Nigeria will experience peace 
always and by all means. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare that Nigeria will make progress. Nigeria will be a land of prosperity. It will be a land that blossoms. It will be a land that flourishes. It will not be a land that eats its inhabitants. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare Nigeria is blessed. Everything in Nigeria will declare it blessed. Every cause upon the nation of Nigeria, we bring the blood of Jesus. We bring the blood of Jesus. We nullify it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare every altar of enchantment and divination that is is releasing causes upon Nigeria. We set it on fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare Nigeria, you are blessed. Nigeria, you are blessed. We declare blessing in the city. We declare blessing in on all the states in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare every altar that is not of God in Nigeria that has been sponsoring negativity in Nigeria. We declare it to be scattered now. We pull it down. We declare it is scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. We confess that Nigeria is blessed. We confess that the children in Nigeria are blessed. The fathers in Nigeria are blessed. The mothers in Nigeria are blessed. Every righteous citizen in Nigeria is blessed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare Nigeria is blessed. We declare Nigeria is blessed. For this upcoming election, God himself will choose the, 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 the God follower. The, 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 the right set of people for Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nigeria is blessed. Everything concerning Nigeria is blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nigeria is blessed. Mercy of God is speaking over the nation of Nigeria. We declare abundance of God's glory over Nigeria. We declare peace like a river over Nigeria. We declare comfort on all sides for Nigeria. We declare flourishing for Nigeria. We declare blossoming for Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we declare restoration for Nigeria. Restoration of the kingdom. Restoration of great things in Nigeria. We declare a new nation is emerging in Nigeria. We declare in the name of Jesus the celebration and true worship of God in Nigeria. We declare a new 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 Nigeria. A new Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nigeria will no longer be a reproach nation. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the purpose and the mandate over Nigeria shall come to pass. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will stop it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a new order. There is a new order. New order of mercy. New order of mercy. The blood of Jesus that speak better than the blood of Abel is speaking mercy over the nation of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything in Nigeria is blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. There is an overturning. There is an overturning. There is an overturning. There is an overturning. Overturning to good things in the name of the Lord Jesus in Nigeria. No more oppression in the land. No more oppression in the land. We speak to Nigeria. Nigeria arise and shine. Nigeria arise and shine for your light has come, for your light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we prophesy a new season of quietness, a new season of rest over the nation of Nigeria, a new season of abundance over the nation of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, no good thing will be withheld from Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy Nigeria, Nigeria, your walls shall be called salvation. Your gates shall be called praise. We prophesy in the name of Jesus, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Your walls shall be called praise. Your walls shall be called salvation. Your gates shall be called praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy a new season of a, a of fair election. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy God's blessing, God's blessing, God's blessing upon the nation of Nigeria. We prophesy that righteousness will be established in Nigeria. Nigeria shall be far from terror. Nigeria shall be far from oppression. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy fruitfulness over the economy of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy anointing of productivity resting upon Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy new things, new and greater things. We begin to spring forth in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy great things 
will begin to happen in Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. In God's mercy, by the mercy of God, the era of oppression has come to an end in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We prophesy great deliverance that God is delivering Nigeria from the wicked leaders. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy the kingdom of God is coming and resting upon the nation of Nigeria. We prophesy joy and gladness over the nation of Nigeria. We prophesy that it is well with the righteous in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus Christ. We prophesy from now, Nigeria, you will plant and you will eat. You will build, you will build houses and inhabit it. Nigeria, you will no longer swallow your inhabitants. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy God's blessing. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God rests upon Nigeria. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy new order, new order, new order, new order. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy new order. No more spiritual blindness. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy that the stronghold of wickedness, the stronghold of bloodshed, God is pulling it down in Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we prophesy strength, 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 strength from God is coming upon the nation of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy godly leaders or into the nation of Nigeria. We prophesy men like Joshua, men with vision, men with vision, men with capacity and ability. God will choose them as the right leaders for the nation of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver Nigeria from a novice government in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will deliver Nigeria from novice in government in the name of the, the Lord Jesus. The Lord will deliver Nigeria from from political fraudsters in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The body of Christ is, 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 is arising in Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord himself is taking over the steering, the vehicle of Nigeria, the steering of the vehicle of Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. An era of evil driver has come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that evil driver that has been driving Nigeria to a purposeless state, that era has come to an end. God is giving Nigeria visionary leaders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, only the will of God shall come to pass. Only the mandate of God will come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every altar that is contrary to the mandate of God, you will not stand in Nigeria. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. The destiny of Nigeria will no longer be manipulated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nigeria is turning to a praise nation. Nigeria is turning to a praise nation. Nigeria is turning to a praise nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nigeria is turning to a praise nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the truth of the Lord will be established in Nigeria. We declare liberty. We declare freedom from every oppression, from every tormentor, from every wicked ruler. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be open heavens. Over the nation of Nigeria, we declare open heavens. We declare open heavens. Nigeria will no longer operate under closed heavens. We declare sweet influences from the truth of grace be released upon Nigeria with the mandates that Nigeria is in need of in the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare peace, so peace, so peace, peace by always, peace always and peace by all means in the name of the Lord Jesus. In this month of June, there will be a divine intervention in Nigeria. There will be a divine visitation in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We are expectant to hear good news in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, era of bad news is over. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of glory is taking over. The shout of a king is in the nation of Nigeria. The soul of Nigeria is blessed. Nigeria as a country, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will no longer be a reproach among nations. In the name of Jesus, every word of God that we have declared over Nigeria shall be yes and amen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you, we bless your name. We give you praise, we give you honor. The Bible says he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Father, we have called us to intercede for Nigeria and we have spoken your word. You will bring it to pass. 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 
you will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus, you will answer. You will answer us, O oh Lord. We are, there shall be harvest of testimonies over the nation of Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you adoration. Thank you, Father. Nothing is impossible with our God. With God, all things are possible. Things that look impossible in Nigeria, with our God, it will turn things around and make it possible. In the name of Jesus, whatever spirits of disqualification that has disqualified Nigeria thus far in the agenda of great nations, tonight is reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Tonight is reversed. We put upon Nigeria the spirit of righteousness that exalts a nation. Nigeria, you are exalted. Nigeria, you are rise to shine in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. No enchantment, no divination will stand against Nigeria. No longer will Nigeria vote in error. We will not vote in error in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We choose the choice of godly leaders for Nigeria. The mistake Nigeria made in the past, in past elections, that mistake will not repeat itself. People will choose the right person in the name of Jesus. The mind of Christ is upon the hearts of men. They will choose rightly. They will decide rightly. They will no longer come under manipulations of men. The Lord will open their eyes of understanding in the name of the Lord Jesus. They will not sell their birthright in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise. We give you adoration for no enchantment, no divination will stand against Nigeria in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be your name. We give you all the glory, all the honor all the adoration. Thank you, Father. The mercy of God is opening great doors for Nigeria. We return all the glory unto you. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hear what God is saying. No negative assignment of the enemy will come to pass again over the nation of Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, yes. we thank you. We bless your name. We give Amen. you praise, O oh Lord. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are boldly declare. Amen, amen and amen, amen and amen, amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. I come under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Mm. The God of the secret place remains my God and my love goes. We declare no evil shall befall us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank amen. you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I want amen. to say thank you for those that joined me to intercede for Nigeria and other African nations. May the Lord bless your own nation too, as God blesses Nigeria in Jesus and thank other you. African nations. In amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. and amen. You, amen. Pastor. Praise thank God. You, Hallelujah. God you bless you. To pray for the African nation and uh, Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Esther, can you pass the host to Lydia? All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. She has raised her hand. Okay. Okay. I'll thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Let's continue to maintain in this situation whereby we are going to look to the Lord tonight. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. is a time that we will replay the Pastor David Wu's teaching for the last three days is in is in Mandarin. It's a time just according to our a time according to even even to our team. It's about a deeper uh, cleansing. Okay. So the host is not passed passed yet, is it? I've passed the host. It's not. I think he's now um, Lydia or something okay. that is the host now. Okay, now. Okay, now you are you are host. 
Lydia Khan is the host now. Thank you, Pastor Esther. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay, uh, Rebecca K. 